Hey guys, this is Steve. Just wanted to give you all a look at what's growing on my rooftop garden. Uh, a lot of cr cold crops and stuff like that, and also got a few uh, other surprises. Have a look. So this is my, uh, what I call the cold crop bed. Uh, it's a mix of a lot of things, but these are Brussels sprouts. These first uh, five plants. This garden I went really tight and, you know, tried to get as much production as I could. Uh, out of the space I had, and I think I've done fairly well. Uh, these are packed really tight, but I don't think it's really affecting how well um, these are growing, especially the Brussels sprouts. Uh, you know, these stalks are pretty massive, and uh, they're a couple feet tall already. They're all looking healthy. Um, my collard greens, which I've been picking since the spring, uh, they're doing well. They're, they're actually doing a little bit better when uh, the temperatures cooled earlier in the month, uh, which would be uh, early August, we had a bit of a cold spell, but now things are getting hot again. I think I'm going to start picking at these more and then uh, you know, let them grow throughout the fall. I also have here some onions that I planted between the rows. And uh, yeah, they've done well, even though they're pretty much buried, they're growing. That's promising. So over here is my cucumbers. Uh, they're pretty much on their way out, uh, which is normal. You know, they they produced quite a lot. I don't even know how many. These are some sort of pickling cucumbers that are, I guess, way bigger than they should be. Uh, but I didn't. I wasn't growing very many, so I just let them kind of grow. I use them for salads anyway. There's another pickling cucumber. It's kind of weird. I'll just eat that for snack. Oh, and it's kind of funny, when I was starting my cucumbers in a flat, um, I started them with some melons and stuff like that. Well, I guess I kind of screwed up. And in my cucumber bed, I got melons growing here. And uh, a couple more there. And I also have this thing growing. I'm not sure if that's like another melon. No, maybe it's just a stunted cucumber. Really strange. But, uh, you know, maybe... I guess it's like an overripe, screwed up cucumber. Hmm. Maybe I'll pick it and use it for seeds. Whatever. Um, yeah. Oh, there's another, oh, there's a pickling cucumber that should have been picked a while ago. Well, it wasn't looking that good, so I'll pull it off. Well, that doesn't look too bad. So this is some Swiss chard from a little experiment growing them in a container and they're coming up pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think just in time for uh, a nice fall crop. I've seen people, you know, out in the stores and a couple YouTube videos, people, they're just planting the stuff um, from starts that they bought at the garden center. So I kind of bypass that step and uh, that's nice. I don't really have to do much, just have to let them grow. And at the same time as those, I started some uh, container melons. Uh, this particular, particular container, I got... This container, I got like three melons started. Uh, so, I thought this one was a total bust. I guess not, so... Oh! Okay, so this one's not a total bust. It's kind of funny that when you sort of give up on something, that's when it kind of succeeds sometimes. And this is my other container melon I'm growing. On the one plant, I have nothing so far. I have flowers though, so you never know. But I think it would be too late for them to be really viable. And uh, the other one, I do have something right here. And this one's looking okay. It's a good sized melon. This is the uh, Siberian melon, so I look forward to seeing how that grows. And the last thing I wanted to show you was this sunflower. I just plant for fun. Uh, there's his little buddy there, he's growing up too. Uh, I planted them in a container, so you know, I wanted to see if I'd get away with this. It's looking pretty good. I have had to keep it watered, uh, 
when I could, and sometimes I couldn't water it enough, and you get, you know, little branches, or uh, leaves, I should say, dying off like that, but I've just been pinching them off, and uh, they don't seem to mind, they're doing well, uh, I think they're looking good, they're going to produce seed, and yeah, just a little fun experiment. Well, that's a good picture to leave on. I hope you all have a great day.